Hello and welcome to what I think is episode 19 of The Fellow Traveller and we're still here at Livorno and I'm trying to think oh, someone's beeping outside uh, I'm trying to think who we played in the last game, last video I think we beat Sampdoria 1-0 in the league and then we had a great run uh, didn't drop a point, well I guess dropping a point of draw is probably that as well, but we didn't lose a game in February Drew of Atalanta, which is a good result. We beat Lazio, which was a obviously a personal victory as well for us. We beat the Bologna, and we drew of Milan, who I, who I think were top at the time actually. And we got smashed by Juventus. That absolutely destroyed us as well. We had, like, I mean, the crappy Castle keeper was the only player who played well, and we lost three 0 So even Morata scored, which should, uh, yeah, all bad sides. And then we lost to Parma and Spal in two close games. Spal was particularly painful because they were in the relegation spots. I think they had a new manager or had fired the manager recently, though. So, And then we beat Udinese in a 4-3 thriller. Uh, and I just beat Verona 4-0. Absolutely destroyed them. I don't know what happened. Um, Picard got sent off, obviously. And there, one of their players, Pugai, got sent off as well. I think that's how you pronounce the J. Although Dawid, maybe he's... Oh, no. I think this is a, a generated face. Oh, it's a Polish surname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks Polish. It's fun. Dawid looked like me. I think I'm thinking of like Dahoud, which is more of a Middle Eastern name. Uh, but anyway, we absolutely destroyed them. They had 10 men, but we had 10 men nine minutes later, so I don't really know what happened. And we scored the goal before. We didn't score any goals between these gaps. But they were just really, really quite mediocre. And our defence played really well. And I brought Panico off when Picard got sent off just to rest him because there's only three days between that game and this game against Empoli. I should say, as well, we're now quite solidly out of the relegation spots, but we're not definitely safe. We're only eight points clear, and things can quickly go badly. Looks like Juventus is going to win the title again. Lazio are mid table. <laughs> um. Port Noni are going to go down, I think. They've been quite bad. Uh, we recently broke the record for worst... Uh, there it is. Worst team discipline. 91 yellow cards and two red cards. I think it was Picard that pushed us over the limit. Uh, Port Noni have been fighting us for that, though. I saw a great team stats recently. <laughs> been playing really dirty all season. Oh, God for Port Noni, though. They've sold out every game they've played at home. God, we've nearly sold out every game we played at home. Wait, where's stadium sellouts? Nah, but we're close. We're very good attendance. Maybe I'll try and get more seats. Um, I was looking for defending. Fouls made. Yeah, and look, we're, this is the real league table here. Us and Porn only fighting over most fouls in the league. Um, we've had a lot more tackles as well, so they must be really dirty. I haven't got that many red cards. We've got four reds, though. Oof. So that, maybe they'll bring Sam Allardyce in for the uh, last 10 games of the season. They're still saveable. It's, it's close enough in the league. And they've got a really good striker in uh, Ilyev. Is it Ilyev? He scored like three against us. Nikola Ilyev, yeah, they're only from Inter. He's really good. Um, yeah, 10 goals a season. Although Panico's got a lot more than that. Yeah, and so in Poly, who are playing next. Let's have a quick look at the goals Panico's got. And Polly, who we're playing next, they are currently in the relegation spots. Uh, Panic goes there, 13 and 25, which is good. Uh, yeah. And Polly are currently second. I don't know what happened. They must have been in free fall because they were not in the relegation spots. They've got four losses and a win. Last five games. And they just hired Andre Villas Boas. So it's not going to be as easy as Verona seemed to be. But we'll see, actually. I don't know. They've clearly not um, had the head screwed on this season. Uh, basically, recently they've clearly played badly. My sleepy brain is a uh, not responding well. They tell the players to pick up where they left off. I normally tell for Petty, I've got faith in him because he seems to respond very well to that, and he's kind of inspiration. But I'm going to do it to Benini this time because I think because he's the captain. A few other players responded well. I mean, it often happens with a few different players, but he's a team leader, so hopefully that 
maybe hopefully that kind of like spreads out through him. Good pass to Bagnelli. Let me check. We're on key highlights. That's a beautiful pass from Hoff. Is that a penalty? Yes. Someone say it's harsh. We'll see in a second. Let's go to VAR. Hoff's been really mediocre. He's gotten quite a bad run. Hopefully that ends now though. The last game he got a ball though. Not incredible though. He won four 0 Yes, penalty. And Panico will take it. I think. Oh no, who is it? Delhi. Nice, well finished. I've made loads of um, signings for the end of the season as well, just waiting for. So look what his penalty taker is like, just waiting for the season to end to get them. Only 13, we're well, a good penalty taker, really. We've been very uh, unreliable. I think it was one of the things that came up with the analyst report that we didn't have any good penalty takers. Yes, Panico. Oh, wow. Oh, he should have been better than that, but oh well. He does very well to make those chances. He's so quick and good at dribbling. Oh, the fuck happened there? I think they, all their defenders missed it and it fell to Panico and he just missed the shot. From a, like an incredible angle. An incredible angle. Like, he should definitely have scored that goal. Who was that? That was... Morozek is very out of position there. Doesn't matter though. He's a right wing back and he was where a centre midfielder should be. It didn't matter, but... The player did kind of cut in from the side in which he should have been on. God, our XG is 1.42. I think probably 0.75 for the penalty, something like that. Probably 0.7 for the shot that uh, <laughs> Panico missed. Okay, so we're playing well, but we could play better. Let's tell a few of the defenders that I want them to play better. And let's tell Sander Hoff. I know he's playing a 6.7, but I've got high standards. I want him to play better as well. Delhi is playing well. Let's say we're very happy. Perfect. Now we can go to the second half. Hopefully grab another goal. Yeah, if we can win in a game or two more, I think we can say we're staying up. But right now, I think we're just very close to staying up. Interesting pass. Oh, half panic out. Oh. It's very close. Steffel, off again. Yeah, he's very useful half, even if he doesn't play that well. He gets onto balls and he's focuses on passing the ball rather than scoring, so. Like an Emil Heskey type. Yeah, I'm hoping he's got some good mental stats like teamwork and stuff as well. Two with 14, decisions 15. His vision's not great off the ball. Yeah. What does bravery do? Uh, risky situations. Straight to half again. Mm, not quite. But nearly. There's our two yellow guards as well. Is he going to get sent off for that? Yes! I feel like I've already checked. It's not, I don't think it is that Luis Suarez. I think it's a different one. Oh man, absolutely! I've got him Polly and the and the palm of hands now. Yes, Delhi. <laughs> it's game over, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna bring Parotti on. Let's rest Panico. I've got two tired players as well. Let's bring Rolando on. Get him some fitness, and let's bring Casara off. I think Crosy Hart has just come back from injury. Let's play Sadiba. Perfect. Triple sub. Yep, 
Yeah, it's not that loose works. They had good stats though, that's where it's Christ. Then Polly go down, might have some good players to steal. Oh, I thought he was going to pass, but he just kept running and running. He's not very good at scoring, Perotti. He is a dribbler. He's got quite that finishing 10, composure 10. Good technique, acceleration, decent dribbling, very good pace. Yeah, I normally play him in half his position. I should probably swap him over, actually. Just do that quickly. I think Hoff is more of a threat with the ball. Oh, also making him a target man. Let's pick it up. Yeah, easy win. Goodbye, and Polly. Goodbye, Andres Villas Boas. There was an interview before the game, and I said it was crap. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I just did. Uh, Rarely feel the need to um, to ride on a manager in the game and coming against the star, like and well star Andre Villas Boas and Polly, who are nineteenth in the league. They didn't have a transfer window. That was a bad decision for him. I'm like, yeah, they haven't got many young players in their team. So if you have to Um, you know, I'm just trying to pinch one of their hot prospects. He is a left wing back as well. Signed a new contract. We'll see how you can get relegated, mate. Yeah, perfect. Nice solid win. Two goals for Delhi. Oh, I missed that we scored both goals. Still going to let him leave at the end of the season, I think, on a free. We're now 10th in the league. Perfect. Apparently, 40 points is what you need to stay up as well. So, a one win away from that. Oh, I should say as well, I got a youth player in my. What's it called? Youth intake. This guy, Matteo Lanieve, uh, who is apparently a star of the future. He's got some good stats already. He's 16, though, so obviously he's way a ways off, but he's got quite high, quite high potential. Who is that? Oh, yeah. No idea who he is. Cool. Uh, I'm going to skip us on to the next game. Oh, just a quick interjection before the next game we um, just asked them to build a new stadium and they're building us a new stadium and 21,000 capacity is what they're planning for let's have a look we currently have a 14,267 capacity so significant well significant 50% improvement I guess so yeah and and yeah the Fiorentina game now I'm um, just looking at the. We had an injury. Benini's out two, three weeks with a concussion. So we've brought Lavalley into the team, who hopefully will be giving us a lovely performance. Uh, there's a pun there somewhere. Uh, I was looking at Papetti's uh, stats. He's got the most headers won per night by quite a stretch. And he's got the second highest pass average after Vitic, who's got a crazy number. I think we will miss him next season, and I haven't found a replacement. I found a decent centre, well, decent. I found a centre back that's not as good as him, but it's just below his ability, which I think is quite an achievement, to be honest. One that will join us as well and isn't super old. Um, yeah, but we'll miss him. Big presence, and also he's one of the few defenders I've that are good in the air. I tend to buy these days anyway. I tend to buy technical defenders. And they turn out to be very tall or strong. Um, yeah, we'll miss Benini as well this game. Um, Fiorentina, I was going to say. They have Abubakar Kamara up front. He used to play for Fulham. There he is. It's kind of comical. They bought him for 30 and a half million. That's 30.5 million. Um, and. So basically, Fulham got relegated from the Premiership in this game, as they had done in real life. And then they had a really good season in the Championship, and he scored like 15 goals. And then sold into Fiorentina for 30 million when they were in the Premiership, I think, probably in January. But in real life, he's just can barely get a game for Fulham, who have also still been relegated. And yeah, maybe he's going to have games in the Championship next season, I'm not sure. Maybe he's more suited there, but I don't think. 
That's a good goal from half and a good cross from Rosic. Uh, basically, it's just comical. Uh, he's not really a Premiership or Serie A striker. <laughs> so he's going to score a goal, I'm sure, against me. But it's just quite silly to see him at Fiorentina for 30 million as well. That's a crazy amount of money to spend for a Bubu He's the kind of player that goes to like West Brom for 15 million or something. He's 29 now, so he's not young. Oh, I just realised I got my fan on. Oh, I was close, I'm off. I'm just going to turn the fan off. It's very hot today, again, and humid as well. Oh, we're all over Fiorentina. They've had one shot. We've had eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, wasn't a very good run. Everyone's very confident. Got a few new players coming in. Only a loss for Petty, really. Sam Powell's going back, but um, I don't think we'll miss him. i probably pronounced his name incorrectly as well, so probably for the better. Oh, and Delhi's going as well, but I think we've replaced him with better players. Let's give the fans something to cheer. I'm going to tell Delhi he's not playing well. And Panico as well. We're ahead because of that Sander Hoff goal still. I think this is the end of our like free games in eight days or whatever it was, so we can kind of just make sure we win this game and not worry about injuries and the like. He scored a few headers and free kicks as well, Pepe. Benini every now and then, but a lot rarer. Let's bring Deli off. Maybe for Picard, actually. Yeah. He's got really good passing, Picard, I think. But not um not very good vision or something like that is missing in the passing. Sixteen passing, only ten vision, only eleven technique. I don't know how that's happened. Makes him kind of a weird playmaker. So I tend to play him in centre midfield as a Metsala. Wait, handball? He's checking the VAR for a handball. I don't understand. Was it in the box? Oh shit, it was in the box. Okay. I thought it was a free kit, that's what confused me. No penalty, okay. Um, I don't want to bring Panico off, but he isn't playing very well. Let's bring Cool though off. Yeah. Let's bring Bittick on. It's not going to play many more games for the club. I never tend to play him. Um, Players who are basically, let's put Camposano on. Players who are basically already sold. I tend to just completely uh, ghost them and never play them ever again, doubting their um, commitment. I think a motorbike is about to come first. No. Yes, Pape. What a finish. It's his first goal of the season, apparently. Yeah, we've absolutely dominated Fiorentina. I don't really understand. I thought they'd be better than this. God, we're in the the top half now by three points. Chasing Fiorentina are above us. Yeah, if we're lucky next season we can even push for Europa League or something. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Drax there as well? And hopefully that goal won't matter, but uh, got a weird little team, Fiorentina. I think like I've heard of Kwame. Yeah, yeah. It's good, I think. I think I've seen him do really well. I'm for manager before. Oh, I thought it would show me more of their players. Yeah, Drax there. I've heard of Eric Paulgar, but he might just be a Fiorentina player I've heard of. There's Kamara I mentioned. But he's only 30. How's he at Fiorentina? Monaco on a free, and then Fiorentina for 40 minutes. He's having a bad season as well. Oof. I thought he was pretty good, Drax there. Not, um, not world class, but like. Should be in the Europa League. Good. Uh, yeah, good boys. Good win. Not good boys. <laughs> good win, boys. Well done. Bang, you only got an eight as well. I bet he covered some ground. He gets really high um, distance run per 100 meet, per 90 minutes. Yeah, that's another question about yellow cards. 49 key passes. Nice. Yeah, so things are going really well on the save. We're now um, 
Look at I mean, we, I think we're definitely going to stay up now for two more wins. I thought you scored in the last game. Um, just praise Banyoli's passing. Yeah, so things are going really well. Looks like we're going to definitely stay up this season. Pulled Nony in the next game. I would have thought that was a six pointer, but I think we're going to smash them. And then some difficult games in the season, but I think we've got more than enough points now. We're on 40, which is the magic number apparently in the Serie A. And we should win at least one or two of these. Some difficult games, but I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you for the next one. I think I might do one before the end of the season, or I might just finish the season. I'm really into this uh, save right now, and I'm sort of flying through it really quickly. So I'm not doing many streams, but there's not many more interesting games left, really, as well. Um, I don't think it's that interesting to watch us just dominate Paul Nolan and score like two goals. I don't think we're, well, we're doing pretty good attacking actually. A quick look at the table. Yeah, we've not got a great defensive record. We've got the sixth worst in the league. We've got mid table for scoring. So we've been really, I think, a big thing as well. I think I mentioned in a previous video is that we've been really good at drawing games we should have lost. We've got 10 draws, which is the second most in the league. Tired of Juventus for draws. Uh, God, Torino, 12 draws. Boring team to watch. Yeah, so I'm just waffling on that end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. And please subscribe if you want to follow the story and like the video. And goodbye.